It's one thing to gaze into the future, dream a little and set a goal that you really want to achieve. But it's a totally different thing to actually reach them. You probably didn't need to put in a lot of work, have a good structure and be dedicated to have a reasonable chance to buy that car, build that house, run a marathon or whatever your goal may be. But how do you do that? We're all unique and different strategies and approaches work different for all. But let me tell you about my goals and how I plan to reach them and maybe you hear a thing or two that you can try out for yourself. Go. Five months of 2022 have passed and at the beginning of the year I sat down and thought about my goals for 2022 and how I could achieve them. I came up with some rough points that I wanted to achieve and now it's time to quickly go through them and see if I'm making any progress. I've slowly started to incorporate some ground rules or structures if you want that I believe work for most people. But some of these points are straight down things that I need to do or want to do to be able to reach my goals so they may not be fit for you. But let's start at the very beginning. To be able to reach your goals you need to know where you're going. You also need to know that you take the best way. It doesn't have to be the easiest way but why take unnecessary detours on the way? Set sub goals to know that you're heading in the right direction and check these at regular intervals to see that you're making progress. And hey, be sure to write down everything. No need to keep it all in your head. There's both digital and uh, non-digital tools for this. What are my goals and sub goals for the year and how do I plan to reach them? After some thinking, walking around in circles and scratching my head, I came up with a total of 9 goals for the year 2022, divided into two categories, filmmaking and YouTube. When it comes to filmmaking goals, goal number one is to buy a real camera. Goal number two is to develop the studio. Goal number three is to make a short movie of some kind, about 5-10 to 10 minutes, but with actors and lights and so on. Goal number four, travel somewhere document it, make a story around it and then turn it into some kind of documentary or short film. And goal number five, collaborate with another YouTuber and or filmmaker. Coming to the YouTube goals, my first goal here is to continue to post my videos regularly. Goal number two is to mix the content between my three niches, which is filmmaking, YouTube and behind the scenes. And goal number three is that I want my channel to become some kind of community where you as a viewer feel that you can ask questions, comment and get to know me and the other viewers. And goal number four is that I want to have 500 subscribers at the end of the year. That's a good mix of goals that are easy to reach and more high-flying goals. But let's take a look at my strategies first and then we can look at the status for each goal. And the five strategies that I have is number one, be organized. Number two, be focused. Number three, be professional. Number four, practice. And number five, have fun. Just a quick break to say, hey, nice to have you here and glad that you are watching this video. If you like what you see, then please consider to subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on so that you don't miss anything. And maybe give the video a thumbs up while you're at it. The first strategy, be organized. In my case, it means that I need to be more organized. I need to have a plan for the coming videos. I need to know which video am I working on right now, which will be released next week, which will be released the week after and so on. Otherwise, there's a good chance that I end up not making any content at all. And it might sound boring to have a plan for everything, but in my case, it's a must to keep my head from exploding from all the information, all the ideas, all the thoughts that I have around this. I need a way to write down ideas, scripts, projects I'm working on, upload schedules, goals, things I need to buy, etc. I would also like to write down development plans for my business, the studio and so on in the same tool. If I plan and script my videos better, then I know that I'm able to make better videos because I actually know how to do it and what to do. 
If I do all of the above, I will also be able to achieve a more efficient workflow when it comes to scripting, shooting and editing videos. And I think that's necessary to be able to keep my current upload schedule of one to two videos per week. But how will I do all this? Well, I found the perfect tool, Notion, which helps me organize everything. Keep track of ideas, planning, scripting, schedules, shot lists and much more. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Nicholas Crystal have a great video where he talks about this tool, so I recommend checking that out if you want to know more. Strategy number two is to be focused. And in my case, it means to have a more focused niche. To aid in several of my goals, I need to have a streamlined content on my channel. And I'm not saying that I am all over the place right now, no, but I'm saying that I need to continue to be focused and have a streamlined content. A more focused niche will let the viewer know what they can expect from my channel. It will make me and my workflow more efficient and it will develop my skills as a filmmaker, editor, creator, etc. To keep my channel as focused as I want right now, I will decrease the amount of pure vlogs on the channel before I get a bigger audience that already knows me and actually maybe cares about what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's, it's hard to get new subs based on just vlogs. Filmmaking and YouTube are my two main niches and I hope that they are not too far apart when it comes to the YouTube audience, but that the same person that is interested in filmmaking also could be interested in the YouTube related stuff that I do. Strategy number three is to be professional and that means that you should have a professional approach to your video projects if you want them to appear professional. Of course, if you would like to have them at a hobby level, then you should have a hobby level approach to your projects. But in that case, you cannot expect them to suddenly take off. So with that in mind, I am doing the following. I'm going to start treating my YouTube channel as a business in a fun way. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about taxes, annual reports and other dull tasks. No, they will come in due course anyway. I'm talking about the fun parts. The parts that bring a little extra joy to the creation for the simple reason that it feels like it's for real. I'm getting a logo. This might sound strange, but in my opinion, a nice logo is the difference between a hobby YouTube project and a more professional YouTube project. If you also consider that I want to have filmmaking and editing as a full-time job someday, then it's even more important. I'm developing the studio and my filming locations around the house, or even better, I'm getting a dedicated studio. I want to get a website because it's easier and more professional to showcase my previous work for potential clients there than directing them into my YouTube channel. Strategy number four is to practice. And in my case, that means practicing filmmaking and editing, of course. And I noticed that I learn and make progress when I'm out shooting a film or commercial. And the more I edit, the better and faster it goes. So I guess that means that practice makes perfect after all. Hmm. I need to promote my business to be able to practice more. And if that means that I have to do client jobs for free right now, then okay. But I think that I'm soon good enough to take on easier paid jobs. Start building a portfolio and a name. And strategy number five is to have fun. It goes without saying, but if you're not having fun, then it's game over. No, I'm not talking about the shorter periods of grinding. That will probably occur. I'm talking about the more general feeling that, hmm, this isn't that fun anymore. What I'm saying is do what you have to do to make it fun. There you have my strategies and how I'm approaching them. So let's take a quick look at the goals again and see how I'm doing. When it comes to filmmaking goals, the first goal was to buy a real camera. And yes, you are looking through it at me. I'm looking at the camera. So I have bought a camera, check. Goal number two, develop the studio. Well, I would say that's ongoing. I'm always developing this little place I have here in the basement but I wouldn't like to call it my studio because this room is used as so much other things as well. So I think that developing the studio is more me looking for a dedicated place to have a studio, but it's ongoing. So 
I'm, I'm on track, I'm on track. Goal number three was to make a short movie and I have no plans for that so far, but it's definitely doable. I just have to write a script of some kind and um, look for some actors, but I think I have a plan for that. Goal number four was to travel somewhere, document it, make a story, and then turn it into some kind of documentary or short film. I have no plan for that either so far, but it's definitely doable and something that I really want to do this year. I have big hopes for this. And goal number five in the filmmaking section, which also comes into the YouTube section a little bit, is to collaborate with another YouTuber and or filmmaker. So if you're sitting out there being a YouTuber, filmmaker, or you know someone, uh, please contact me. I would love to do a collaboration with someone. Um, so I'm all ears. Coming to the YouTube goals, goal number one was to continue posting content regularly. And that is according to plan. Goal number two was to mix the content between my three niches, filmmaking, YouTube and behind the scenes. This is going according to plan as well, because I do mix my content. Goal number three is that I wanted my channel to become this community where you feel at home and you feel welcomed and you feel that you can ask questions and comment. And I think this is going according to plan or maybe even better because I get more and more comments and I get a lot of you viewers reaching out to me through Instagram DMs and uh, through comments on YouTube and so on. So that's great. And goal number four in the YouTube section, which is the only goal that I can actually track. And that is that I want to have 500 subscribers at the end of the year. And right now it's going according to plan. Uh, so I think that I can reach that. And I just have to say we are about 160 subscribers at the time and date when I'm doing this video. And I am so grateful for every 160 people of you. Well, actually I'm one of them. So 159 then. I'm really grateful that you are subscribing on my channel and like what I do and uh, keep writing comments and giving giving me thumbs up and so on. Just wanted to say thank you for that. I feel that I'm on track towards my goals for 2022. I know that some of them might seem a little bit easy to achieve, but that's actually part of the plan because I don't want to go too hard and set goals that are unobtainable. I'd rather raise the bar slowly and surely instead to still make it fun. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Until the next time, take care. Bye bye.